the bottom dump. One of the very first high volume dirt haulers, bottom dumps were very popular for bulk haulage and are still in use today. Back in them good old days, this was a bottom dumper. Usually pulled by a team of horses or oxen, the body held approximately two cubic yards. Loading was by hand, quite backbreaking work, and in the earlier part of the 1900s by small steam shovels. This is a preserved example. Euclid Road Machinery's first bottom dumper was this machine, based on their existing track truck with a shortened chassis. It was introduced in 1933 and was powered by a Wakusha gasoline engine. The hopper held 10 cubic yards. This mighty looking beast is Euclid's largest production bottom dump called the B100. Carrying a 100 ton payload, the B100 had a GM 16V71T under the hood and could move along at over 40 miles per hour. Several examples of these machines were sent to Pakistan to help build the Mangala Dam. A Hale Model 2C700 bottom dumper photographed at an equipment show in the USA in 1950. When International Harvester bought Hale in 1953, they inherited the 2C700 bottom dumper, which they redesignated the Model 2W75. Sales of these machines were low, they were nose heavy and not well liked, and only lasted a couple of years in the IH catalogue before being dropped. International Harvester had much more success with this bottom dumper, the Model 495 pay wagon. Based on their existing 495 pay scraper, International designed and built a whole new back end for the machine which held 40 cubic yards, a worthwhile payload in anyone's terms. The 495 pay wagon had good sales in the USA and saw use on a lot of dam sites. Laplante showed offered this little bottom dumper beginning 1947. Featuring all hydraulic operation, it was quite advanced for the time and held 19 cubic yards. Alice Chalmers bought out Laplante Chaud in 1952 and sold it as their own model TW300. It didn't last long in the Alice Ch Chalmers range, being dropped in 1956. This image is of an original Laplante machine of 1948 vintage. Lutino, later Lutino Westinghouse, offered a range of bottom dumps to suit all of their turnable models except the Model D. These, this could, these could be exchanged for other attachments such as a scraper crane or rear dump by the simple expedient of undoing four bolts on the hitch and disconnecting the electric plug. This is an early 1952 vintage Model C turner hopper powered by a GM671 diesel. Caterpillar's first foray into the world of bottom dumpers was with the model DW10 and W10 wagon. A 1953 vintage machine is shown here working with several others on a levy reconstruction job, a task for which the DW10 W10 combination was ideally suited. Around 1960, Caterpillar entered into an agreement with the Athey Products Corporation to manufacture and supply bottom dumps, rear dumps, and side dumpers for their new 600 series machines. This was a very successful partnership, and one example of this collaboration is shown here, a Model 660 tractor unit with an Athey PW660 bottom dumper. From the author's collection, known as Retro Contractors, three examples of 150th scale bottom dumpers for your enjoyment. Models of bottom dumps are reasonably easy to acquire. The models are, front to back, 941 Caterpillar DW10 and W10 wagon, 1974 Caterpillar 768V and Athey PW768 bottom dump, built from a resin kit, and a 1967 Caterpillar 660 with Athey PW660 bottom dumper.